And our other top story, one you'll see only on Local 4, is the police just illustrated on the east side. Seconds can mean the difference between life and death. So when a Detroit EMT refused to help a baby when she was just minutes away, some wondered how she was able to keep her job. Local 4's Sean Lay is live tonight with more on this investigation. Sean, good evening. Good evening. Let's start with this, Kimberly, that the investigation just wrapped up and it showed that this medic was not being sent, not being sent into a hostile scene here. I'll read right from the investigative report. Detroit EMT Anne Marie Thomas refused to respond to a call for service for a baby not breathing for no reason other than not wanting to perform CPR for an extended period of time. For that, medic Thomas was suspended. She was not fired. Message received 33. I'm going to need you to make that scene because you're going to have to make patient contact. That's the voice of a frantic Detroit Fire EMS supervisor ordering veteran medic Anne Marie Thomas to get to this house. Inside, a baby not breathing, her mother calling for help. Thomas was just around the corner on her previous run a few streets east. The eight month old baby on Glastonbury was exactly nine tenths of a mile away. A two minute drive at normal speeds, but Thomas took six minutes and then shocked dispatchers by telling them this. Thomas parked her unit on this corner, a street away from the baby. Thomas and her partner were in this SUV, outfitted to be just like an ambulance to help medics get to people faster. But in this case, Thomas refused to go to the house. Uh, Romeo 33 updated information that the child is not breathing. The baby was hooked up to an oxygen oxygen machine because it was premature. Romeo 33. Even with that information, Thomas and her partner didn't move. Romeo 33, medic 51, be advised. CPR is being performed on your scene. Romeo 31, medic 51, CPR is being performed by the baby's mother. Two internal investigations were done. The reports read that Thomas told her boss, quote, I'm not about to be on no scene 10 minutes doing CPR. You know how these families get. The ambulance eventually got the baby to the hospital. She was revived, then died the next morning. Ma'am, you have to make contact with your patient. You have to make contact with your patient. Frantic long moments there leading to that 19 minute response time. Here's a statement from Fire Commissioner Edsel Jenkins to Local 4 tonight. Quote, EMT Thomas was immediately removed from duty following this incident. She has since filed an appeal as Executive Fire Commissioner. I have the ability to make the ultimate determination, which means that she's already been punished once. We'll see if she's then fired after this incident. We, of course, tried to get uh, Medic Thomas's side of this story. We have not heard back from her. Also, Kimberly and Ruth, we've not heard back from this family yet what they think of this. Back to you. Wow, and especially if you're a parent. This just seems so heartless. Was the partner disciplined? The partner was not disciplined. The investigative report, two of them making it clear that she wanted to run into the house and help the mom, help the baby, but she was the junior officer uh, on this crew. Mm -hmm. Thomas was the senior officer, so she followed her lead in this one. Uh, uh, Unbelievable. Shameful. All right, Sean Lay reporting Thanks, Sean. live for us tonight. Sean, thank you.